Well, we're coming to the end of yet another week of the lockdown. And certainly in this monastery, we're quite a lot more enclosed than we're used to. For those of us in a quite active religious congregation, not being able to pursue an active face-to-face -face apostolate has certainly been challenging. No parish missions or retreats, and not even being able to greet parishioners after Sunday Masses. We can do some things, certainly, such as streaming Masses online, pastoral work over the phone, or in delivering food and medicine to those who can't get out at all. However, I've certainly been able to reflect more on the importance of our regular life of prayer together. Prayer and the development of our interior life is absolutely vital for a fruitful apostolate, rather than just soulless activism. Our apostolic labours are part of the mission of Christ, and so can only be effective if animated by the Lord Jesus dwelling in our heart. Even if it's a good work for a noble and a Christian purpose, if we attempt to achieve it through our own efforts by trying really, really hard, then it'll be in vain. When we're all more or less enclosed because of the pandemic, then our prayer life is our apostolate. Our union with the life of Christ is the way that we bring people to him. Whatever your situation or state of life, take this time to deepen your prayer life. It's not I that live, but Christ that lives in me, as St Paul, Paul tells us. And so growing in that interior life, that life of union with God, is an integral part of our life as Christians. If you're stuck at home or otherwise unable to live your, your normal life, then put aside extra time for prayer. If you don't normally, then try to sanctify time through the Angelus or even starting to learn about the Divine Office. There's loads of stuff online. And even if you can't physically get to church, you can still join in with the church at prayer, giving God the glory, honour and worship that is due. So God bless, and may the love of the risen Christ burn in your heart. Amen.